Galera, agora é só o pane. É só isso, pane. E a Mari se listen to him back when I was in um, middle school. <laughs> I used to be um, at the skater rink listening to him. And them girls used to be giving roll ups. Shout out roll ups he is. Y'all know what roll ups are. You know, when they be like, ooh, ooh, and it was like, ooh, ooh, You from Atlanta? No, I'm from Houston. Casey's sleeping. This is nap time. But it's really past his nap time, but he had to eat. Who is that? But he had to eat lunch first. So, he's sleeping now. Y'all know what the fuck going on. I feel like I haven't said that in forever. You know what the fuck going on. Hey. <laughs> Babe. Y'all get this boy out of my face. <laughs> See my nigga El Chapo. He got the packs. He got packs. No. no. Get out. Okay, bye. What's she talking about? I'm coming. She tried to put us down for years. I'm not. I didn't even put you on camera. I came in here to put my boyfriend on camera. We're not beefing with you. Babe! You don't like social media. You don't like that shit. We ain't like them beefy ass Shut up. Why he hiding behind the wall? <laughs> 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 Y'all know what the fuck going on. Y'all know what the fuck going on. What you order? You can't. Let's move out. Let's move out. Yeah, I can't see this. Y'all, I want a tattoo right here. I want a tattoo going down here. Why am I still do that? But anyways, I want a tattoo going down here. I heard butt tattoos hurt, so I'm not doing it. But I'm, I'm going to keep this arm clear. Just so like I have a clear arm. But I'm going to fill this arm out. Like all back here. All right here. Like all this going to be tattooed. Leave where? And go where? My head itch. Is your wig custom? This isn't a wig. This isn't a wig. These are bundles. These are bundles. These are, um, this is a 28. This is a this is a twenty eight, y'all. This is a twenty eight, and it's this. This is twenty eight though. I don't know. Why I keep saying it, but it's a twenty eight. Y'all want to know a secret? Okay, so y'all know when I got this tattoo right here. It's ugly right now, but it used to be cute. I swear to God, it was cute. Like it was cute, cute. But um, when they got like right here. It hurts so bad. It felt like, um, I don't know. It just felt like, I don't know. I thought I was going to die. But before this madness, it was too cute. But I'm going to finish it. It's not done. That's why I look like this. People be talking about it. I don't give a fuck. I got to put color in it. Once I shape this in, color it in, and then color this, 
and then finish my sleeve it's gonna be too raw y'all see how i got casey name right here okay so i got this lining and shit up here right so all this down here is going to be um dedicated to casey so i'm gonna get buku stuff dedicated to him like i might get his face like right here i might get his face right here and then just buku like just you know like just stuff dedicated to him it's gonna look raw i'm gonna have to um have you had 40 inches yet the hair queen me of course but anyways yeah i'm gonna just dedicate this down here to him Yes. You want me to set for the cake? Yeah. What kind of sugar are you using? Mm-hmm. We can get um, chocolate too if you want. Yeah. We just want to do strawberry? Okay. Right. You're, you're about to go to the store? Huh? You're about to go to the store? No, I'm not going to go. Okay. Get, get more milk. Right. What are you talking about? Oh. Huh? Get more milk. Why you out of room, what? Rain is the best. For sure she did this one. She did the one on my finger. Um, oh, she did the flowers on this one. Cause y'all see the flowers and the roses and stuff. Cause at first it was just plain. And I just felt like, it gave me like boy vibes. So I had to finish it up. And get something that made it feel like made me feel like it was for a girl. I don't know. I feel like my tattoo roll. But honestly, y'all, if I could go back, like I wouldn't get no tattoos. Like I really feel like I would like myself more without tattoos. And I know it's so sad because I don't even know what the tattoo on my back say. Like real talk. Like I really don't know what it say. I just was like, I want to get a tattoo one night, and I went and got a tattoo, found something on Pinterest, gave it to the man, and he tatted it on my back, and I don't even know what to say. Get his date of birth on your arm. It's already there. Oh, you can't. Can you see? It's right there. It's right there, though. It's right there. Oh, I look like scribble scratch on there. But it say 2-13-19. I got this one done in LA. When I was out in LA. I was in LA for something. But I got this done in LA like a long, long time ago. And then I got these done in Houston. And then I got this done in Houston. And then I got the, the scribble scratch on top of it done in Miami. And then I went back and got... It covered up again with um somebody in Houston. And it looked dark like on camera, but actually like you can see like the leaves and stuff, but I'm gonna get color in it. Cause it do look bad. Are you from Houston? Yeah. Yep, I'm from Houston. Okay, y'all. So look, let me tell y'all. I went and got a wax, right? And I don't think I ever go back to shaving. I'm glad you know it look like scribble scratch. I mean, just get it removed, y'all. That's a pain. Tattoo removal hurts. And people think like tattoo removal, it takes one day to get it removed. No, you have to go to multiple sessions. Multiple sessions, like up to 10. So, and it don't fade away the first day. Like that's what people don't understand. Like it doesn't fade away the first day. It takes time, like it fades away over time because a tattoo, you know, your tattoo man keeps going over it and over it and over it. He's adding layers. So they have to take the first layer off. And with the first the first layer being off, like it's still there. You get what I'm saying? So that being said, y'all say tattoo removal. It takes time. It takes time. Okay. Okay, honey. And especially don't add color to it. It's fine. No, it needs it needs some color. Like, okay, 
So, y'all, I wish I would have saw it. But y'all see how this right here is, um, is, um, like that right there is red. Okay, let me see. Can you still? Okay, well, that right there is red, right? So, it was like, um, you know how we do when you do a um, marker like this and the ink splatter everywhere? That's how the tattoo was. It was like ink, like different colors of not ink, but yeah, it was like different colors of ink on you. Oh, I mean, talking about on you, on me. How long y'all been together? We've been together for. Y'all saying sis, sis what? Did your ex hurt y'all? Yeah. And y'all, okay. Anyways, y'all. Okay, so first of all, let's start here. People talk about tattoos or whatever. Ask your mama. No, never mind. I'm not going to go there today. Maybe tomorrow, but I'm not going to go there today. Because I really hurt somebody. Don't worry about what tattoos on my body. Because at the end of the day... I gotta live with them, not you. So why do you give a fuck? If I had a big ass cat right here, why would you care? It has nothing to do with you. It's not hurting you at all. Okay? So, just like if you used to go shape off your eyebrows, I wouldn't give a fuck, you know why? Because it has nothing to do with me. I wouldn't even talk about you, you know why? Because I don't give a fuck. People talk about stuff that they care about. I don't give a fuck about you or what you got going on. And that's just that on what? <laughs> that. Thanks. Your pants don't show you. Baby. Okay. Does it matter? Like, where I'm at right now? Where I'm at? Where I'm at? So. What's social media for? To show people what y'all got going on, right? So, the only reason I'm more here is because I love you guys, you know, and I'm an influencer, so I have to be on here to show y'all that I love y'all because I'm not, if I'm not on here, y'all feel like I don't love y'all no more, you know, you know, you know. So, that's why I'm on here. Can you please tell us about the wax? Well, the girl that did my wax. Okay, so um, I used to work with her at Chuck E. Cheese. If you don't know, I worked at Chuck E. Cheese. I did. I had. Well, I'm not talking about my jobs, but anyways, I used to work at her. Work with her at Chuck E. Cheese. So she did a facial for me. She did my first ever facial and stuff like that. So when I decided to get a wax, you act slow. Okay, you're about to be blocked. Why am I even gonna block you? Cause you know why? You just, you're still gonna look at my page. I don't give a fuck what you think. I really don't. But anyways, so I worked with her at Chuck E. Cheese, and when I wanted to get a wax, I knew her, and I didn't really feel comfortable with anybody else. Like, looking down here, like, that's my private area. So I just went to her, and she talked me through it. She told me everything about it, and yeah, that was it. Got a wax. Boom. But anyways, let me tell y'all, I worked at Chuck E. Cheese, I worked, I worked at Chuck E. Cheese for like a year, but I got fired. And then I worked at Kroger. If you don't know what Kroger is. Um, if you don't know what Kroger is, it's a grocery store in Houston. And then I worked at Studio Movie Grill. It's a movie theater. And then I was done. Girl, everybody done, done seen that already. Seen way. Oh, okay, well, the people that didn't watch my YouTube video, I want to tell anybody. But anyways, so when I worked at Chuck E. Cheese, I was, do you think it's better than shaving? It's way better than shaving. Just because, like, when you shave, I don't know why you get fired. I'm going to tell y'all. But when you shave, your your um hair grow back super fast. But, like, with the wax, it takes a, a little minute. So, like, with me, like, I'm a hairy person. Like, my arms be hella hairy. My legs, like, I'm just hairy, like. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a hairy person, so it is what it is. So I just feel like waxing is better for me. 
I don't have to always worry about shaving. But um, I got fired because... Okay, this is what happened. I used to think I was the manager. So that's where problems came in. Actually, you know what I mean? I was a trainer, not the manager. But I used to think I was the manager. So I used to feel like I didn't have to listen to nobody. I still feel like that. So I work for myself now. But I used to feel like I had to work me and listen to nobody. So this new um this new lady came. I don't know where the fuck she came from. But she called herself trying to tell me to do something. Wait. I'm sorry, wait. So I worked like I was doing parties. So with you when you do parties, you don't really have to do nothing because majority of the time the kids are out there playing and um the parents are talking so you're not gonna sit in their face so with that being said um i'm not gonna do nothing so i used to be i don't work there no more so i don't give a fuck but i used to be in the chucky closet eating i used to be in the kitchen eating i used to y'all i never went home hungry i was always eating um in the restroom on my phone in the chucky closet on my phone <laughs> um let me see what else I used to be doing. Walking around the um the game room. So when this new person came, she just felt like she could tell me what to do and it wasn't happening. Cause I was already doing what I wanted to do for so long. So what I decided to do was when she told me, she told me to go do something in the back. And I walked through the um the kitchen. Cause y'all know y'all not supposed to walk through the kitchen. You're supposed to stand at the front. I walk through the kitchen yelling, I don't know who this lady that she talking to. <laughs> and so I went to the back and I guess she heard me. And so she told me to come back in there. And she was like, who you were talking to? I said, I was just yelling it. She was like, oh, well, you can clock out and you can go home. And I was like, girl, I don't care. You're not hurting my feelings. So clapped out, boom. The real manager, because she was just like an assistant or something. So the real manager called me. He was like, you can come back up here. But she already pissed me off. And I don't know who the fuck this bitch thought she was talking to. So I was just like, I'm not going to work there no more. So then y'all, I went to Kroger, right? And so I'm thinking I'm going to be a cashier at Kroger. I get to Kroger and they got me pushing baskets. I kid y'all not, rain, cold, sleep. No, it wasn't cold because I worked there during the summer. Then I quit because they had me fucked up. But rain, I mean, yeah, rain, hot, whatever. They had me outside pushing baskets. So I was just so confused because I, I thought that it is fire because she originally fired me, but he was trying to get me to come back, but I didn't want to come back. So... I don't know. Anyways, I it, it was some it some happened a little a little argument a little argument. But y'all, I think okay. So then it was this other manager, right? And so she, I guess, like the game room because y'all know they got a different manager. So I guess she liked the game room manager. But you don't need to like him, sis. I'm sorry. Move around. You don't need to like him. You know why? Hmm. That's why, baby. <laughs> Anyways, so um, then they used to just like just I just had some bullshit ass jobs. No, y'all, let me tell you about the job at Studio Movie Crew. Um, so I got the Studio Movie Crew, and um, I was delivering food. Oh shit! But I used to be eating the food there too. Like I used to sit in the movie theater and eat the food. Is that bad to say? Can I get in trouble for this? I don't know. But anyways, I used to sit in the movie theater and eat the food that people didn't want no more. Or like people, like the, um, what you call them? Like a double order it. And so, you know, you got to go back and get it. So like, it'll be full for us. And then they'll just take it off the people ticket. So we used to be up in there eating, 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 woo -doo, woo -doo, woo -doo, woo -doo. And so one day I was going to eat and this fucking white boy Call, he said something to me and I said wait y'all he pushed me like this white boy pushed me for real so I pushed him back 
And so here come his girlfriend. Um, did you hear my boyfriend? Indeed. And what you want to do? Was Tisus. She started doing the most. And so we went in the kitchen because this was in a movie theater. So we go in the kitchen and I'm standing like this. Like what you know do? Was Tisus. And so she just popping off at the mouth over on, on the other side, like over there. And I'm just standing like this because I was really ready for her to. I'm lying on everything I love on my son. This is what happened. So. I'm just standing right there, ready for her to do something. But so she ended up, she ended up telling the manager, and he was just like trying to figure it out. But I was over this white boy pushing me. Like I, I took that as, and I mind you, I didn't even do nothing to him. Like I just took that as you didn't respect me. Don't put your hands on me. I didn't do nothing to you. Fuck he thought. So I'm talking about this white boy that I used to work with, the studio movie crew, because he really had me fucked up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's why I can't work no more because mm -mm, I can't do it. It's too much. It's just too fucking much. Oh. Oh, your coworker, yeah. You, he probably following you. He probably is following me. I don't care. Fuck him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a lot of stories. For real. I need to do YouTube stories. But anyways, yeah, I'm just bored. That's why I got him here. But I'm gonna go up in here and get on the Jante nerves, so I'll be back later. Anyway, enough of that stuff. <laughs>